It is my sad duty to inform you that the king breathed his last at 12 minutes past. Oh. Prime Minister, is it true the king is dead? I'm on my way now to Kensington to kiss hands of the new queen. You don't think I'm too short to be dignified? To me, ma'am, we're every inch a queen. <laughs> I know my duty, and I assure you, I am ready. From now on, I wish to be called Victoria. She'll stop, and even she will soon realize that she's out of her depth. I believe you're acquainted with Sir John Conroy. He would like to be your private secretary. That is out of the question. He means to run me, as he runs my mother. Queen has put me in charge. So now we are answerable to a governess. And a German one of that. She is small, but she ain't limited. No, everything is in proportion. <laughs> the country needs an heir to the throne, and you need a husband to keep your behavior in check. I am not a piece of clay to be molded by any hand. And I believe I shall find my own way. And if I require advice, I will ask for it. So young, with such responsibilities, she should not have to bear them alone. Do you really need to forsake me? Your Highness Prince Albert. I have asked Prince Albert to marry me, and he has accepted. 